Hi, this is Brad, SharpensBest.com. How are you doing today? Uh, we finally got, um, we had a guy that wrote, this is, in a way it's funny, okay, one of our customers writes us a question, uh, he gets an answer, we get a question, he gets an answer, okay, it's about the uh, sharpeners, uh, and it took a long time just to get him the sharpener, um, and then he says he can't make it work, it doesn't work, I want to return. Um, we say send it back. Uh, okay, well, will I get reimbursed for my, uh, you know, expenses back and forth? He sends it once to the uh, P.O. box, actually by FedEx, I think, probably cost $10, 11 It got sent back to him because they don't deliver to a P.O. box. Went back to him, uh, you know, more on the computer, you know. I mean, this goes on that <laughs> far on the computer, okay? And uh, so we finally got it back. And, uh, you know, our customer sent it back in a FedEx box where, uh, you know, I don't know, you're looking $13, $14 where, you know, a little envelope would have been two and a half, three bucks with tracking. Okay. Um, so anyway, I got my pocket knife here. We open up the knife and we're going to, I don't know, just make a slit in the box, pry it open and uh, dump it out. And it's in a plastic bag. Uh, I imagine it's the original packaging that it got sent to him in. Uh, I'm just going to tear it open. All right. So there's the original bag that it went to. And uh, it went to Brooklyn, New York. OK. And so let's put that one down there. And then we got the sharpener. Oh, I remember now. The guy said that he's got a uh, multi-use tool, kind of like a Leatherman, that he's had for, I think, seven years. And uh, he bought the, the two-pack, all right, and that's the long handle and the rectangle. And, yeah, I see some scratches on the long handle, uh, a lot of scratches, so, you know, probably used quite a bit. Um, let's look on the, on the rectangle and see what it looks like. If he couldn't make the long handle work, hopefully he didn't scratch up the, uh, yeah, didn't even use it, the rectangle. So this is kind of a monumental type deal. This is only the second one out of about 20,000 sharpeners, uh, maybe even just in the last year. Um, so anyways, uh, let's take a look, put the plastic back in here. All right, and if I remember right, he asked, uh, if we could sharpen this knife, doesn't really need it back, but he'd like to see it sharpened uh, and put on a video. He also said that he used, oh my God, uh, I don't know what he's done to this knife, but he didn't do all that with, with my sharpener. <laughs> um, and, and it's like semi, semi sharp. So anyway, I'm going to use the, the long handle that is scratched up and I'm going to sharpen this knife. And to tell you the truth, I forgot to bring paper to uh, cut with. The knife is actually kind of sharp. The blade is bent. Uh, it's got a big dip in it, and then it comes to a point, and then it takes another big dip like that. And uh, But uh, if I can find, it's a, kind of a cool multi-use tool. It's got bottle opener, bottle opener. It's got a corkscrew. It's got a bottle opener there. And um, so anyway, we got uh, some stuff here that we can cut. We got a a business card and a Walmart receipt. So you have super, super flimsy down to kind of thick. And this is going to be just a little bit tough because that blade has been just damn near rounded. Um, so let's see where we can go with this. First of all, I am going to use the V-notch a little bit, but I'm not going to use it as hard as he did. Uh, the claim was it doesn't work. Okay. First of all, I didn't tell them to use the V-notch. I tell people not to do that. Um, they should just use the open face on the other side. Maybe the knife was actually in such bad shape he thought I'd better run it through the V-notch. So anyway, I'm going to run it through the V-notch here just a little bit uh, and see if I can change the blade. I'm not reefing on it as hard as most people do. Uh, I'm not going to tear the blade up, and yes, I'm doing this on my leg again, and no, I'm not going to slice my leg open, and no, I'm not going to bleed to death, you know, uh, like I get told all the time. 
That's like telling a guy in a race car you can't race the car because you're going to wreck and you're going to die. That doesn't happen very often. It does, but not very often. So just like this, don't push too hard. Let it work. Don't make it work. Turn it over. Right now I'm using the uh, open face. On I don't know if you can see. Maybe you can see. Um, you got the sharpener. You got the V-notch on top. You got the open face on the bottom. The open face, if you turn it up, on this side there's a square corner. On this side a square corner. So you have a flat, flat, flat. If you have three flats perpendicular, 90 degrees, uh, you know, to each other, then you're going to have 90 degree corners. If you have tungsten carbide, 90 degree corners, you have an extremely hard metal with a very sharp corner that's uh, really sharp to metal. And so we just do this, do this for a little bit. I can feel it cutting the blade. Don't have to wonder. Uh, it's just a matter of can I thin this blade uh, enough quickly to make it slice paper. So let's see. I'm touching it lighter and lighter and lighter. I'll be quiet so maybe you can hear. That's close. So let's go for the uh, business card first. I uh, turn this way, I guess. It is cutting. You have to push a little bit harder than normal. But yeah, it cuts the business card right off. And it does take a little bit to cut a business card. They're actually very thick, that card stock. It bites your finger pretty darn good. So let's drop that down and see if I can put the wind and everything else, uh, see if I can cut uh, a Walmart receipt. Okay, it isn't too bad. Let's work on it just a little bit more. Man, we're gonna have some wind. Yeah, so let's see. Just like this. Okay, no offense to you guys and no offense to the guy who actually uh, did this, but looking at the knife, listening to what he said, uh, we went way out of our way on this deal. I'm not kidding. You should read uh, maybe, you know, we give a link to the video. You look at the conversation and everything, how far we went out of our way to, to make this right and everything. And, you know, it doesn't work. The knife is all chewed to hell. The V-notch is what he used. I've told him not to use the V-notch. Uh, so, operator error, I, I don't care who's listening. Nine out of 10 things that don't work, that people claim they don't work and everything else is operator error. That's, that's all there is to it. Uh, so many things that actually come out on the market today really and truly work. It, it's just that people don't know how to use them. And if you watch my videos, I say over and over and over to people all the time. Um, don't use the don't use the V-notch except on crappy, uh, thin, cheap kitchen knives. Uh, you know, unless you're going to make uh, right here setting right here. I made a, a good hair shaving knife out of a butter knife. If you're going to in, in a uh, survival situation, you need to make a knife. Use the V. But on most knives and situations, no, I don't ever use the V on it. So let's see if I'm even closer. Oh yeah. All right. If I can cut, and I'm going to hold it this way. Okay, if I can cut a Walmart receipt, why, do, why is that a big deal? Because Walmart receipts are, are just super thin. If you can cut the Walmart receipt and, and not have to work too hard at it, the knife is actually pretty sharp. Uh, you know, we, he, he wants his money back, that's fine. Uh, I'm not real positive, uh, you know, maybe we'll refund half of the uh, shipping, but to send it FedEx, 14 bucks, you know, that whole nine yards, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, the sharpener does work. Uh, I would like to just actually be in New York and stand there with the guy and show him how to use it uh, because it does work, there's no problem. Uh, we said, hey, call, and I'll walk you through it because um, nine, nine out of 10 times, it is nothing more than I don't understand how to use it. Um, if I talk to somebody versus, uh, you know, typing it out and they're reading it, um, it's just a lot easier. Call me, 425-444-7505, Mountain Time, and I'll walk you through the problems. This is Brad Sharpensbest.com. If you got a problem with the sharpener, call me, write to me, ask me a question. Uh, yes, will I replace it and stuff? Um, you know, I, I make it right, uh, whatever it takes, basically. This is Brad Sharpensbest.com. Take care. Have a good day.